first one from my point of view i have seen is most of the time it's the lack of articulation of thoughts wherein the reconciliation with respect to what's there on the slide versus what i am speaking that throws off the audience as to what are you really talking about that will be one big from okay. my point of view the one what i would if i think of is actually the current thing with the people who are there in the session connecting with the people okay it's more about are we on the same length in terms of the understanding point of view okay uh, sometimes it could be too lengthy too long okay more data so <clears throat> some i have seen a lot of presentations where it is all about data not about uh, any story whatsoever yep very good these are good let's see what i came up with i found that um, and i have made this mistake in fact this mistake i had made in the nascom presentation also hindsight i started explaining how the innovation group worked how we picked the top five i must have lost the audience right there so we do this thing we call context setting that kind of the first problem the second one you all have covered it's too much data or information we fill our slides with information some slides that i took from major companies from across the world so this retail service offering slide is my own i don't know what i was thinking right i had this 3d diagram of all the service offerings that i had at the retail practice that i used to run at that time now if you are sitting in the audience what are you supposed to make out of that we create these slides for no real purpose other than to say oh we have this fancy thing going on so actually throwing anything to the audience from these slides is is not meaningful because the audience is not going to pick up look at this mind map thing here i don't know what we were thinking but this is the typical style of presentations that all of us use third is uh, it's very textual our slides are not visual because putting a visual presentation takes time and we don't put in that effort we have and we have a lot of material to cover so typically our slides are all very heavily text laden 